Hey guys, I'm Joe, you're watching Theo Joe Tech. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about cable modems, specifically what DOCSIS is, and thinking about whether or not you have to upgrade your modem or not. Basically, DOCSIS is a protocol that allows internet traffic and data to be transferred over cable lines. So your cable company will typically give you a DOCSIS modem, or you might buy one, and in comes the cable line in your house. It splits between your TV and then your cable modem, which extracts the internet part of that channel and will then allow you to surf the web. So this is different than if you have a cable company that brings fiber directly to your house. If you just have fiber, then you obviously don't have a DOCSIS modem because that's just for cable. So you really only have to worry about this stuff if you have cable internet. Now in some cases, you might actually have a modem that's too old to take advantage of some new higher speeds. For example, if your internet service provider simply boosts the speeds of everyone in your area, then you might go over the threshold for which your version is capable of. And that's going to depend on what DOCSIS version your modem has. The oldest version you probably would have is DOCSIS 2.0. This was released back in 2001, and this supports maximum speeds of 38 megabits down, 27 up. So if you have a DOCSIS 2 modem and you're paying for speeds that are higher than that, you probably need to upgrade because you're not getting what you're paying for. A more recent update to DOCSIS is 3.0 in 2006. This basically allows the modem to combine multiple internet data streams to add to the bandwidth. The 3.0 standard specifies that the modem must be able to be capable of having at least four channels each with 38 down, 27 up. So the minimum capability of a DOCSIS 3.0 modem is 152 megabit down, 108 up, but it is possible that it has more channels than that. Four channels is just the minimum. So if you're paying for speeds between 38 by 27 and 152 by 108, you need to make sure you have at least a DOCSIS 3.0 modem. And if you're paying for speeds higher than that, then you wanna make sure that your DOCSIS 3.0 modem has enough channels to support your maximum bandwidth. If you bought the modem yourself, it would probably be listed on the box in the specifications. You could probably look it up, how many channels it has, or if you rent it from your cable company, I'm sure you can call them and ask what the maximum speed is. Now the latest version of DOCSIS is 3.1 and this specifies a minimum of 10 gigabits down and one gigabit upstream. This uses a signal scheme called 4096 quadrature amplitude modulation. Not sure what that means, but I'm assuming it basically is some fancy math that allows more data to be encoded into the limited signal capabilities of cable wires. But even though the DOCSIS 3.1 standard was released in 2013, the only modems that started to support it were actually first released in October of 2015. So basically for most people, what you would want is a DOCSIS 3.0 modem. Even if you don't have necessarily those speeds, it's good to future proof it, especially if you're buying it yourself. And you also wanna make sure and be aware of the number of channels your particular modem has. And that's assuming you buy your own. If you rent one from your cable company, just make sure that the one they give you is capable as well. And if your cable provider starts to offer very high speeds, you might actually see them offer some 3.1 modems. And if you happen to be paying for internet and you're not getting the full speeds consistently, you might wanna check what kind of modem you have. It's possible you have an old 2.0 or maybe a 3.0 that doesn't have enough channels. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this really informative. I'm looking forward to hearing what you think in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. If you wanna continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you wanna subscribe, I make new videos three times a week, so I think it should be worth it. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys, either in the comment section or on Twitter. So thanks for watching, I will see you next time. Have a good one.